Hello, 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 and welcome back to the Wandering Village. I'm Evie Greenbottle, and we've got another decision to make. There always needs to be a decision to make. An old machine arriving at the site, an old stone cutting saw. Looks like it could still be working. We could try turning it on. We could look for anything else left behind these machines that we should not touch them. I think let's try turning it on. I almost always try to turn it on. Ah, and one of your scavengers throws a rusty lever and the machine roars to life. After a while, it starts spitting out one stone slab after another. 19 stone slabs, which is great news because last episode, we started putting in our stone roads and we are requiring quite a lot of stone in order to do that. So that is good. We've also finally got our other scavenger hut here has been built. So we're going to need two people to come and work in there. Now, where do we want to take people from? Ah, this one was trying to use compost. Stop trying to do that. Oh, this board distillery we can close up. I think let's close up this glass blower for now. That will get the two people we need for this, and then we'll be able to send them out. I don't think we're getting beets at the moment, so maybe we could switch this one over. Switch that one over to polenta, and then switch this one to maybe some mushroom stew could work. Right, we've got scavenger parties back, 19 stone slabs, 23 bread, all sorts of really good stuff. We are standing here waiting for these nomads to get here, so hopefully they do fairly quickly. But now we've got three more scavenger parties back out again. We're just waiting for this last one to get a worker in there. There we go. Okay, that is now full and we are ready to send them out to this oasis over here. All right, Anbu is walking again, which we do not want. Anbu, lie down. Just take a load off Anbu. Take a load off, buddy, because we are just waiting for these nomads and they're very, very close. Ambu sits, good, yep, yeah, just relax. Just hang out, have a nice time. We might be able to get the feeding trebuchet open. Ambu could use another bite to eat, so let's just give him some food while he sits here. So we've almost got these guys, they should just about be in our square here. There we go, okay. You encountered a small group of nomads looking for a new home. Will you let them join our village? Of course we will. Two healthy people have joined. Now, as far as the housing thing goes, we still have six spare houses, so that's actually going well. Anbu has decided to get up and walk, which is actually perfect timing. We're about to go through a heat wave, and then we need to keep an eye out for this medium sandstorm and try not to ignore it this time. Let's send our villagers off. Hmm, I think to this sand dune over here. Now, we just need to be getting as much sand as we can. We are in the heat wave, so some things won't be growing now, but we won't be in the heat wave for too, too long as Anbu continues to plow through. We do need to watch out for this though so we we could get on boot to run it's looking pretty good i mean he's not too tired he could actually sleep anywhere as long as he doesn't sleep in these heat waves it should be fine so we might get on boot to run i don't know if he's gonna love that but let's just get this out there we go okay perfectly safe passage there we're getting past just need on boot to get all the way through then he can go back to walking scavenger party has come back with some water so let's send them out again Right here, that's really close by. Right, and Anbu can go back to walking because he's gonna get really tired. <laughs> they brought 13 stone back from there. We'll send them out to this oasis. It's also really close and we've bypassed that, but we are of course back in another heat wave. So it's important that we don't let Anbu sleep in here. We just need to get past the heat wave and then he can lie down. But we've got a decision to make whether we wanna go into the jungle or into the ocean. Honestly, I'm leaning way towards the ocean. The heat wave right before, but if we get him, as soon as he gets out of this heat wave, if we get him to sleep, we should be okay. Oh, but we did find something else here. Another dried out oasis. After a long walk through the desert, your scavengers can't wait to drink some water. Sadly, they find nothing but a dried out river bed. Now we could look upstream, but we use up 15 of our water. We've got tons of water though, or we could just scavenge for other resources. I think let's just walk up again. No, they didn't find anything, no matter how hard they look. That's a bit sad. They did try though. We'll send a party off to the shipwreck over here. Send a party way off to this oasis maybe. And it looks like we encountered another group of settlers. So let's pick those guys up as well. One hungry person we found, and we'll go off to this shrine, I think. All right, never scavenger party has been brought back 34 sand. We've got Anbu looking pretty good. He's a little bit hungry. He's a bit sleepy though. We are out of that heat wave. We're not quite in that heat wave. This might be a good time to tell Anbu to sleep, and he, I think he agrees, so that's great. Now, the trader is here. We have been buying, oh, he doesn't have any sand. Okay, so we're not gonna buy any sand because he doesn't have any sand. We could buy some kelp. Don't need that. We could just buy the knowledge. I don't know if we need the knowledge right now, though. Might go for nothing, actually, at the moment. Right, Anbu is sitting down, so he's gonna have a nap. Right, we are out of fish, so this kitchen has not much to do. We've got another decision to make on the cliff side. Your scavengers managed to locate the shrine, but there's one problem. It's embedded high up in a sheer cliff face and seems completely inaccessible. 
Looks like we'll have to climb to get up there. There has to be another way to get there. Let's look around or trying to get up there would be too dangerous. Let's gather some rubble from below the cliff and leave. I think let's look for another way around. And we managed it. Your scavengers noticed a small crevasse on the back side of the cliff. It has a secret passage leading up to the shrine from behind. Plus six knowledge. Excellent. So I think knowledge wise, we could be pretty good for now. Let's send our scavenging party off over here and take a look. We're currently researching extra flamethrowers, which means yeah, our injector is done. The next thing we want to do is panacea. So after we have the other ones done that we've just been selected, we'll try to get panacea done. Cause that way, if we do go into the jungle and he does get jungle flu or tape worms, then we can hopefully heal him. But we're going to need to figure out how to make those recipes as well. All right, scavenging party has returned with 11 wood. I think I'll send them back out over to this fort ruins. Another mansion has been constructed. So we now have our three mansions along here, which is great. That's houses for five people each. I'd like them to get the wonder tree done next because that's going to finish off the decorations or nearly finish all the decorations for all of these houses and the injector is here so we could set this up to be built somewhere ah, and the injector has a very limited area where you can place it it's basically just here which is a bit unfortunate because we've got a lot of stuff already here i guess we can stick it in here though like it does actually fit here but that's really interesting so yeah you can only put the injector kind of in one spot which i guess makes sense because if Andu's, i don't know something some sort of vital organ is underneath here then that's where you're going to need to put it i'll schedule it to be built we don't have any glass at the moment. We don't have very much sand, so that's not going to really work. But petrified footprints of an ombu several meters deep mark this run into the quarry. We could follow the tracks, investigate the tracks. We did not come here to follow tracks in the past. You know what? I'm going to say we didn't come here to follow tracks in the past. And we just grabbed some stone, which is good because we need stone anyways. And another one, we found another Dryda oasis. Let's just scavenge around for other resources. We found 24 wood and 17 sand. Great, because actually what we need is sand. Water we're fine for. We, we need the sand. So lots of people to head back out. We'll go to the mine, we'll go to the shipwreck, and we'll go to the quarry. Now, slightly unfortunate, we have built this boulder in. There is not enough space around it on either side to actually place the quarry in to be able to mine it, which is a little unfortunate. A little, a lot unfortunate, actually. But nothing we can do about that now. I mean, we could take something down. We could... I mean, we could move the mycologist. We could move the mycologist up here, for example, and then put the quarry in over there. You could always put a mycologist back in there later. Honestly, yeah, maybe that is what we do. What if we just put a mycologist over here? And also having two mycologists might not be the end of the world. Let's do it. Let's put a second mycologist in over here. Then we'll get rid of this mycologist once that one's built. Uh, and then we'll get the quarry in there because stone's actually a valuable resource. And now we could, of course, remove one of the Anbu spikes, but that would lower Anbu's trust in us. And I just, I really don't want to do that if we can avoid it. All right, Anbu is up and walking. He's headed towards a heat wave. After the heat wave, he'll be into the ocean though. So we will need to be ready to open up the fishery and the seawater collector soon and switch out some of these foods to other things. All right, placebo has been researched as well. So the research is ticking along with kind of random things. This is now in and we've got some workers over here already. I am going to deconstruct this. Actually, cancel the deconstruction. Let's just put this to harvest only. And then when there's nothing left, then we'll deconstruct that one because we're not in a big rush to get those stones, to be honest. All right, lots of scavenging parties back. Seven iron ore, 11 stone and 11 wood. So we can send them all off again. Oh, there are some nomads up here, but we're not going to make it to them in time. They are a bit too quick for us, but we now are in the ocean and I think, yeah, we're out of the heat wave as well. So let's get these things opened up again. We're going to get this switch back over to fish and we just need to figure out where we're going to get workers from because we do seem to be having some worker shortages. Okay, getting all of our farms back as well. So back to tomatoes. This one's back to beets. This one is also back to beats. Right, a lot of our scavenging parties are back. A lot of stuff is happening right now. It's very busy at the moment. We are in a spot for Ambu to sleep. And I think we would actually like to ask him to sleep. Oh, it still says he's in the water, so it's saying no to that right now. Not really in the water, but okay. All right, Ambu is going to accept our command to sleep. Would be good just to get him to not be at all tired. All right, a very sleepy Ambu tonight. So everything on Ambu's back is now set up for being in the ocean which is good and we've got a comfortable sleeping spot so everything is right in the world we're getting really close on these mansions as well the only thing is we are missing glass and the glass we just don't have at the moment there's just not enough sand in our lives we're collecting the sand over there we could also go and collect the sand way over here but that's really far away for right now all of these are just really far away but onbu is back up and walking and a trader has just arrived 
Maybe we can buy some sand from you? Uh, no, no sand. We can also buy some stone planks here. And you know what, it wouldn't hurt. We have so much flour, more flour than we're ever going to need. Let's just buy them out of those 10 stone planks. Having those is going to be helpful for being in the roads. It's going to be helpful for building. It just is helpful. All right, a scavenging party has returned with some stone. Let's send them out to this shipwreck over here. It's not too far. We did miss those nomads, but we knew we were going to miss those nomads because they were just a bit too quick for us. We're going to have to make a decision about which direction we want to go as well. It looks like there's lots of ruined settlements over here in the mountains. There's also tasty looking stones, but as long as we feed on before getting there, shouldn't be a problem. He won't eat them because we, yeah, we definitely want to avoid constipation. And honestly, this looks like a jungle. I don't want to go into a jungle. Jungles are not friendly at this point in the game. We don't have panacea research just yet. We're currently working on it, but it's going to take another two and a bit days. So we're not ready to encounter any sort of monsters and infections and parasites that the jungle might throw at us. So let's go into the mountains. We'll get Anbu to head north. He agrees that's a good way to go. So that's what we'll do. All right, couple scavenging parties back. 29 sand and seven iron ore. Sending those back out again to the forest and to the fort ruins. And then we're going to be heading this way. We'll need to make sure on that island or when we first get into the mountains to make sure Anbu is fed. He does need at least two food balls, so that's okay. I am happy we're missing the jungle, if I'm honest, because it's a scary place. Now, as far as happiness goes, we are at 20 out of 14. Food variety is as high as it could be. Housing quality is not. Food quality is kind of in the middle, although that seems to be declining rapidly. What is going on? Uh, and our decorations are okay. Of course, we are going to need to get rid of the rest of these like tents and things and put in more mansions all about in order to fix that really. Right, we are running out of mushrooms. Oh, this needs to be going back to beet soup though, because beet should be coming in over here. This one is now done. So we're going to get rid of this building, which means those workers can now maybe come over here to work in this one. We're going to destroy this one, build a quarry here, and then we'll build that back later once we get rid of the quarry again. So long roundabout way of doing that, but it will work in the end. Let's send the party off. We've got sand dune that we want to get here and let's go get the shrine for knowledge as well. Oh, although maybe I should have gone to this dune because we do need as much sand as we can possibly get. Uh oh, and we've got a whirlpool coming. Although if Ambu gets too tired, he'll just sleep on this island, which is absolutely fine. Day 169, that group's come back with their stone, so I will send them off to this dune next. Yeah, Anbu is on the island. Let's get him and we feed him once and then get him to sleep. He might sleep on his own. Looks like he's going to sleep on his own. So he's had something to eat and now he's just going to sleep. Two more parties back, one with 10 wood, one with 26 sand. Let's keep sending those out. Some of these are played pretty close to us. We are about to head back into that mountain though. We are experiencing that rule pool, but it's behind us. So Anbu's fine. He's not getting more tired from that. Plus he's sleeping anyway, so he's absolutely fine. Right, this uh, boulder is now gone. So this quarry we can take out which means we can increase the area of where these guys are allowed to grow mushrooms. And then once they take this down, even more so. And Panacea has now been researched. So let's take a look at our research tree. We don't have the boarding house or the commune yet. We do have nine knowledge available. Boarding house and commune are the last things left on the village page. Uh, we don't have enough knowledge for both of them at the moment. We could get the boarding house. In services, we have finished. Everything in services has now been researched and that's fantastic. In farming, we still need advanced funnel, farmhands, crop fertilizer, and then those will be the last thing things. And honestly, those three things are free, so let's just get those done. In resources, it's the bile extractor, the blood extractor, and the black pudding. The deep quarry is also not done yet, but all of those things make Anbu unhappy, which is why I haven't done them yet. And in Anbu, the eat command never bothered with that one. Anbu laxatives, the food liquefier, the feeding pump, the Anbu constipator, the Anbu discipliner are not done. So there's quite a lot of stuff in here to do as well. I mean, we could start getting them. It might not hurt. Let's just have some of those researched and we're just going to see if we can get everything researched in this game because I've never actually done that before. Right, the new quarry is built, which means this boulder is now being made. This one should be getting destroyed shortly once we have someone over here to do that. Going to open up the glass blower. We've got 83 sand back again, so let's just do that. And we've got a group of scavengers ready to go out, so let's send them over to this ruined settlement. We might be able to find some villagers, although housing wise oh actually we're really good we have way more housing than people at the moment we have room for 14 more which is yeah that's, that's really good right and ambu has entered the mountain biome so that means we are ready to close the seawater collector close the fishery the fish patties will keep going just not very well i guess we'll keep them running for now you can also switch this one back over to grilled fish for a little bit 
not for too long. Our tomatoes aren't going to grow, so that needs to go back to being beets. So we're gonna have lots and lots of beets about. Everything else is fine. But we also do need to feed Anbu again, so let's do that really quickly before we forget, because he is coming up to those tasty looking stones. And we really super don't want him to be eating those. We've got a decision to make as well. Trading for goods. Your scavengers encounter a group of people from a nearby hideout exploring the settlement. They ask for a trade. They look exhausted. They could have some water or we could give them some food or we could refuse. Now we are actually, our storage of water has gone down significantly. We were at almost 500 before. Now we're down to almost half that. So why don't we go for trading food? We have tons of food. We could do bread or berry muesli. Let's do bread because of course we have so much bread as well. So let's give them 15 bread and oh, they've given us 18 iron ore in exchange that's great iron ore is harder to get Anbu could still use another food ball just to make sure he doesn't eat those tasty looking stones so let's try to avoid that Anbu here has another food ball got another decision to make oh no it's not another thing quickly this has never gone well for us let's no time to lose help fast oh phew while trying to help the whole party get swallowed by the sand but instead of getting stuck they fall into an ancient cave underneath they found 18 glass that's amazing and seven knowledge oh my goodness that is massive because it has been really really difficult to get glass right we've got two scavenger parties ready to go out again we've got another decision to make with more settlers let's just pick them up one hungry person has joined that's fantastic Anbu's at the tasty looking stones is he gonna eat them no Anbu no don't eat those oh he's he okay he stopped to eat the food we are giving him it's a close one Anbu <laughs> that should take his hunger down to zero though so he will not eat those tasty looking stones. He was just trying to scare me. That's what that was. We've got another scavenging party ready to go back out. There's a ruined settlement here to go to. And then these guys are almost back because that mine was really, really close by. Good. Okay, Anbu is not eating the tasty looking stones. Is that 0% hunger? Very, very good. They brought back seven iron from there. Let's send them over to the quarry over here, I think. Oh, and we've got a thunderstorm to watch out for. I think we're gonna have to get Anbu to stop, let this go by and then keep going uh, because at the moment he's a bit too close. I don't think if we ran, we would make it. Yeah, it's on its way back now. So let's get Anbu to lie down. Now lying down is obviously not ideal because he will get a medium amount of ground toxicity by lying down, but it is what it is. And I think we'll just have to be okay with that. So Anbu is sitting. We're gonna let this go by. As soon as it goes by, we'll get Anbu back up and running. Right, our injector has been constructed. So in here, what do we have? Miserable dose of painkillers, tranquilizer, panacea, and an energy booster. Uh, where do we make those? Is that in here now? No. Okay, where do we make the things for this? Hmm. Oh, the laboratory. Did I ever build the laboratory? I don't think so. I can't see it anywhere here. We must have, oh, there, okay. Used to create the complex substances. So that's what we need is a laboratory. So yes, let's just stick it in over here. Right, Anbu is awake. Oh, I forgot about this. <laughs> okay. Right, Anbu is walking. Was Is that going to be enough time? You know what? It might be. We've got quite a lot of decisions to make again, though. Settlers. Oh, pick them up straight away. Two hungry people have joined. That's fantastic. Oh, this one's not a decision. It's just not quite done. It's just very close. Send the party back off to this quarry over here. Now they're back. Let's send them off to the shipwreck way over there. Ten wood. And as far as housing goes, yeah, we still have lots of space because another mansion has been built. And our wonder tree has gone in. Look how cute it is. It's very pretty. Right, 15 stone has also been brought back, which is great. Let's send them down over to this mine. Right, Anbu, you may need to go a little bit faster than that. Always just a bit worried that he's going a little bit too slow. Scavenging party brought back three knowledge, which is great. Definitely always need knowledge. Although we are getting close to not needing any more knowledge. Because of course, we've got so many things built. I feel like now that we have this mycologist way over here, it wouldn't hurt to have another air well over on this side because it is otherwise very, very far away from anywhere to get water. They have to walk all the way over here, which I mean, it's not hugely far, but it is also hugely far. And since our water stores were looking a little low anyways, I think it's not a bad idea. We'll prioritize getting the air well built and then we'll upgrade it, of course, as well. Hey, that thunderstorm is now heading back towards us. Let's just get Anbu to run just a tiny bit, just to make sure we're not hitting that storm. Farmhands has now been researched, so we're now working on crop fertilizer. Yeah, that storm is coming back. Now looking, if we go north, thunderstorm if we go south thunderstorm so it's not really going to matter this gets us into the ocean but there's quite a lot of poison over that way not sure what the north gets we'll have to take a look when we get a little bit closer the trader has arrived Anbu should be running I don't he doesn't really look like he's moving all that fast but that's okay in our trader we can get some more sand I think it's a good idea to just buy the sand whenever you see it and what else well, I mean we'll sell it probably for the flower because we've got 247 flower I think we could also get, I don't know if we need, how much more knowledge we need realistically. 
Maybe we could go for the stone planks and then we'll just sell the flower that we need for that. Maybe we can also grab the fish. We're still offering more than is required. There we go. We've got 15 sand, 17 fish, and 12 of the stone planks for flour that we're basically never going to use anyways. It's just, it's never going to be needed. All right, Ambu, come on. You just need to go a little bit faster. That thunderstorm's coming a little bit too quick for my liking. I'd really like to not have to rebuild things. I think we should make it, but it's, oh, I don't know, actually. It's going to be a really tight call as it usually is. Come on, Anbu. He's wagging his tail, but Anbu, just keep running. He's getting quite sleepy. If he lies down, his poison will go up, but it's fine. I think we have some antidotes around. Our scavengers have returned. I'm not sure where we're going to send them out next. Maybe over to this poison forest. It's really far away. Okay, we've made it out. Okay, Anbu can go back to walking. Just go slow there, Anbu. It'll be okay. Ooh, it looks like our next mansion's going in as well. So the housing wise, we are really good. I think it is time to finally deconstruct all of these tents. Not have any tents left. At some point, we're gonna wanna get rid of these huts as well, but not quite at that point, but we're, we are getting close. All right, we do need to sleep at some point. There are nomads coming this direction. I think let's go north. Let's not go back into the ocean just now. Let's stay in the mountains for a little bit longer and see how much we live to regret this later on. <laughs> But we are out of video time for today. If you're enjoying The Wandering Village, make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.